July 13, 1998. I'm very proud of my granddaughter. She graduated from the police academy and has officially become an officer of the RPD. Not only that, she graduated from college with honors last year. She has worked very hard to get to where she is now and we're throwing a celebration party for her. She doesn't know that her parents, her boyfriend and I, have planned this out. She's going to be thrilled when she gets here. August 5th. Candace made her third arrest with her partner today. She told me that the guy had two small bags of cocaine on him, but his excuse was that the bags kept the zombies away, which was his reasoning for having them. The excuses people make once they're arrested, I swear. August 17th. Candace drove me to City Hall to pay my light bill in her police cruiser today. She told me that things have grown hectic at the station since the stars were disbanded due to gross negligence at the Spencer estate. She also told me that I should stay indoors for a while as people have reported attacks by strange looking men and that a college student had been killed a couple of days ago. I told her that I would and that I'd pray for her safety. Enough people hate the police as it is. September 17th. I heard gunshots just outside my house and afterwards my granddaughter's voice calling frantically for me. When I went outside to see what was going on, there was a raggedy and horrific looking woman lying lifeless on the lawn. Candace told me that she's taking me to the police station so that she can protect me better. When I asked her about the woman, she informed me that the stars were right about the zombies and now they're loose in the city. What's more? Her parents and boyfriend are dead, and she doesn't want to lose anyone else. Caitlin, my dear sweet daughter, I hope you didn't suffer. September 20th. Candace came into the waiting room where other survivors are and informed me that she's going back out there to help with the zombie crisis. I wanted her to get some rest as she hadn't slept in three days. She declined and told me that it's her duty as an officer to protect the people. I said goodbye and watched her leave. I'm proud that she's my granddaughter and I pray for her safety out there.